Let's log in as a manager and take a look at the review and approval process. That's the next step in this management audit trail. So as a manager, I have a timesheet just like everybody else. I haven't submitted any time on it yet. I also have the ability to see any timesheet for users that I'm allowed to see. So as a manager, I can go in and look at another user's timesheet. Now that's a feature that we've turned on in this particular security group. You can turn that on or off depending on what you'd prefer. But it's just that some people like the idea of having a simple spot where I can see any of the timesheets that any of my users have logged in progress for or not. A manager is not allowed to enter time for another user. So if I went into this row and tried to log time on Thursday, it would tell me I'm not allowed to do that. So if I do two hours there, it's going to tell me that the audit rules prevent me from making edits to audited fields on another user's timesheet. So just the way that we enforce that rule. What a manager does have the right to do is review and approve time. In this case, I've got these 11 hours that I've just entered in my list of things that I need to approve, and I can either approve it or reject it back to the user. So what I typically do is go into the unapproved hours, take a look at them, and here's all the information on those particular hours, what's been done and what hasn't. And I can come into this list and either approve or reject that time. If I go into any of these hours, I've got access to all the information that's in the system, not just the notes, but the audit log as well. And you can see, as a manager, there are certain fields that aren't on the verified timesheet, so I'm free to edit those. If you want to change the bill rates, the notes, or the QuickBook payroll to which something is attached, all that is safe to edit and still be compliant. But if it's an entry that the user has on their verified timesheet, then as a manager, you're not allowed to make edits to it. So the system is sophisticated enough that it can actually lock the things that you're not allowed to edit. We have a view of this that you can set up. So if you're a project manager, you can look at the projects that you managed as a whole. So you can affix the signature to all of the time entries that are attached to that particular project. But we want to work with your audit guru on that. Ideally, what we find people wanting to see is an employee's signature on a timesheet and one manager's signature on a timesheet. So where an employee works on multiple projects, he'll have multiple signatures. Then things get a bit complicated because a manager actually has to approve the whole timesheet. They have to see, yes, they've logged five hours against my job, but they've also logged 65 hours against some other job. So that doesn't seem right. And so the auditors want them to see the four corners of the timesheet, if you will. So that stack is super helpful for that. We've also got something called a floor audit report that'll just give me everybody's time the total hours per day, per week, period by period. So I can get a feel for where I see holes, essentially. And that's part of what is helpful. That type of report, if you literally generated it in big time and then printed it out and put it in your folder, when it comes time to go back and say, here are the policies and procedures we have in place, when somebody says, how do you verify that the employees are actively tracking their time? Obviously, the managers are looking at it on the audit log, but also you can say, for example, every Friday we print this report out, or every day we look at it, and every Friday we print it, whatever the practice is in place. That's what will give your auditor the peace of mind that it's checked. So you can go in and look at those individual hours. Each hour has all of the information associated with it here within the system. So if I look at the time that's under review for that user, I can see what's locked and what's not, as well as the audit log. It mentions here that I can't edit that information. We do have the ability for a system administrator to come in and unlock this time entry and make edits to it, but we still keep track of those edits in the audit log because it is a violation of your timesheet policy for an administrator to come in and change the time. That doesn't mean that it's not valid or that the time will be disallowed, it just means that it's different than what you've said your policy is, and so we let the administrator do that. And then you just have to enter an audit log note just like everybody else. So let's say for example an employee is out for two weeks or an employee has done work and has submitted a paper timesheet because they only have access to a fax machine or that employee was fired or they quit and they didn't finish the things that they were supposed to do. So now you need to put that time into the system so you're going through and doing administrative work or making corrections. There's a lot of valid reasons why you'd violate that standard policy but as long as we put the reasons into the system right next to the violation it makes the whole audit process easier to walk through. As a manager, I can check some of these off and reject them and ask the user for more information if I'd like. It all goes into the audit log and you can keep track of it. That's more of an internal thing. 
We don't actually show the manager's reason for rejecting an entry on the verified timesheet, but we do keep track of it in the audit log. I can also check off 9 of these and approve them and reject 3, so I don't have to approve or reject the entire timesheet. But if I'm ready to approve the entire timesheet, I can do that with just one button, just by clicking approve. This works a little bit differently than the standard system for BigTime. This is an audit log compliant approval page. As a manager, I need to approve all of the time. So here is the certified timesheet I'm approving in step number one. I want to approve all of the changes that have been made right along with the individual's comments. The messaging here helps the manager understand why they are fixing their signature to this particular document. So in this case, I can put my name and my password and approve the timesheet. So now when it's finished and you print the timesheet again, now I have the complete four corners. I've got time that's been submitted, time that's been changed by the user, the user has reviewed and approved all of those audit log entries, the manager has reviewed and approved all of those audit log entries, and then there's the total of the timesheet. If I print this out and keep it in my desk drawer, when somebody comes in and says, show me the timesheet that you have fixed your signature to, I can do that.